are there scissors? Because we're opening packages. Well, they don't know that yet. We can't just have something on the set that hasn't been established yet. <laughs> All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. You can. We do. No, I do. You can't. No, you can't. Stop playing with your nipple blanket. <laughs> That's a sound bite. Roll that opening. <laughs> Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Miss Christopher. And today we are opening packages again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this. Uh, it's like Christmas pack. every day around here. One of the biggest videos on our channel, Daddy, do you know what it is? Wish U Hauls. That is correct. And while it's not a U Haul of things, we've ordered quite a few things from things like Wish or Amazon. Unboxing videos where we test out a affordable gear and wasted a ton of packaging and so in classic unboxing fashion and as the internet goes a brand new shop experience is out and it is called daddy i want you to pronounce that timu wow you actually pronounced it right uh, did I? <laughs> I i thought it was temu and people were like hey why would you say temu t-e-m-u temu yeah, but E after T is always a T. Okay, so why don't you call it Teampature? <laughs> T-E-M-P? Because there's an M after it. <laughs> Timu? <laughs> day by popular demand, we are going to be doing a Timu haul. I still think it should be called Timu, but that doesn't matter. Because on these websites- They're knockoffs. Usually, <laughs> allegedly, we're not trying to get anyone mad. But what was the thing you just said? Oh, we wasted a lot of packaging. <laughs> Honestly, for the amount of items that I did buy, there's only two packages. Really? Yeah. What'd you do, buy all thongs? <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into the haul! Opening screen! And so today, for the items, we'll give a, a yay, a nay, and I'm gonna add a third category this time of... So we'll give you a review as we go along and I, let's just get into the first item. So our first package today, it could be multiple things, we'll find out. I do appreciate that Timu does market and package everything nicely like that. That is kind of convenient. I mean, is orange their color? Yeah. Okay. Because they're into everything, anything, and all at once. And I will say, when I ordered all of these things, it didn't tell me it was gonna package them all together. Uh -huh. But some things that didn't get shipped and weren't available, even though I paid for them, um, are currently on hold. On hold? Yeah, I mean, meaning I already paid for it and- Like stuck at customs? No, they haven't shipped it yet because it was out of stock. Oh. Ah. Do you need some scissors? Yes. <laughs> This is the One Piece Silicone Expanded Inflatable Anal Plug Expansion Diameter 5.1 Inch Inflatable Super Anal Plug Inflatable. They said inflatable about five times in the title of this thing. Okay, so I already see a problem. Uh oh. The top is inflating way more than the bottom two. Super smooth and flexible, non toxic, odorless, safe, and durable in use. <laughs> Allegedly. How's it smell? I don't know if that's non-toxic. Well, that smells pretty toxic and it's super thin. Yeah, that's really, that's just gonna pop. Or maybe, let's, okay, you hold it. Okay, could you imagine this being in your ass? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, how much do you think I paid for this? 30 or $40? It retails at $16.49. We only paid $8.49 though. I feel like I need to get safety goggles. I am shocked that it went that high. I don't want to pop it because now I want to use it. No, I am not letting you, no, you can even see, like look here, you can see how it's kind of stretching along the seam. Never put something in your body that you buy from these AliExpresses, these Timus, or these Wish.coms. It's not safe for your body most times. No, why? I don't mean to <laughs> de deflate your expectations. So you already have made up your mind. What if it's a good product? It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell as bad as the other <laughs> stuff we've gotten. I, I have to get this close to smell the toxins. I still am not gonna recommend it, but if daddy wants to keep it, yeah, I there you it. go. I'm actually not mad about this. <laughs> Next item. Oh, it's a flute. <laughs> There's more to that piece, so let's get, oh my God. They literally put like 10 different items all in one shipment bag and- I prefer that. I'm kind of a fan of that process. <laughs> Ah. This one's called Excite Your Sex Life with this one piece BDSM bondage set, adjustable spreader bar, handcuff, anklets, and more. Wow. Wow. 
Wait, there's no cuffs in here. Does it say cuffs included? Yeah, it shows cuff pictures. Adjustable bar, handcuffs, ankle, and more. Yeah, they're they're not in this package. So this is pretty easy to put together. Okay, wait. Okay, so if I'm if I'm struggling in bondage, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, don't pull the drop. <laughs> now, Daddy, how much would you say this is worth for you? Twenty bucks. It says retail ten forty nine, and we only got it for five ninety nine. But if we had actual cuffs that worked, these are dumb. <laughs> Ah, I'm free. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cheap. It looks like a Christmas tree stand. I don't know if I would want this. Yeah, these these literally just slip in and out so easily. There's nothing stopping them from going in and out. That certainly gives us a, a bar to, to go from. Set the maybe it set the bar. Yeah, it's, it's set, <laughs> set the bar way too low. And don't worry, Daddy, because this next item, I know you were so disappointed about the lack of cuffs that came with your spreader bar. What the hell is that? <laughs> These are the colorful rainbow handcuffs, perfect for BDSM enthusiasts and couples, sexy bondage restraints. Ooh, they're sexy. Are they? I mean, I kind of like the, the rainbow. I... Is it made for unicorns? <laughs> unicorn. It's, a, it's unicorn bondage. That's exactly what it is. Okay, A, this is a tiny cuff. Is that even gonna fit around? Let me see. Just barely. Yeah, I can't get it on. <laughs> there we go. It's got, a, it's got one of those cheap fuckholes. It's too. perfect for couples though, look at you. And then we can just, we just clip it to our, our spreader bar here and complete the unicorn bondage fantasy, which is a sentence I never thought I would say out of my mouth hole. John the non-believer. John. John. Okay, another thing I'm noticing as I put the second one on, this one's tighter than that one is. I had to go on a different hole. Not a different hole. Okay. I would be so impressed if you could break that. Ooh, oh! Guess what? <laughs> oh, they took my freaking kidney. Oh my God, Daddy, you're so <laughs> swole. Oh, you broke the class. I told you, those class are so cheap that they're gonna break with very little effort. Well, usually a unicorn's not as strong as you. But how much do you think we paid for that? I hope not over five dollars. Exactly four ninety nine. <laughs> wow, you're really good at this. Wow. Do you work for Timu? No. Yeah, five dollars, but it's not something I would buy. So no. I'll give it a meh. Next <laughs> item. This next item. It says. It says item sold out. <laughs> but then why do I have it? <laughs> Did it say it didn't ship? Yeah. This but next item says one piece feather whip tickler feather duster. The hell? <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was really funny because it's just a little feather duster that is also a flogger. <laughs> well, it's it's a it's a little slap and tickle. Oh, oh, oh. Slap and tickle. Okay, let me slap my my turn to tickle. slap and tickle. Hey, give me that. No. Don't make me get my static tape out. In the fashion of every wish and unboxing haul video. No, don't you dare. <laughs> but also I'm cleaning your no. apartment for you. <laughs> I mean, it actually is really cute. If you are a tickling fetish, this is actually a really good feather. It feels nice. How much did you pay for that? I would guess $4. Very close. Uh, we paid $2.98. Wow. So this is, actually, I like it. For what it's worth. I mean, for, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt at all. No. I could just hit you <laughs> all day okay. long yeah, and you'd be fine. You <laughs> this is really good for tickling scenes. I like the feather on it. It's giving versatility. Uh -huh. uh, it's giving I was cheaply made, but it's also giving I'm kind of okay paying $3 for that. Wait, but is it fashion? <laughs> yeah, no, of course. So, yay? Yeah, I like it. I mean, for $3. Agree. Next. Wee. Ooh. <laughs> this one is also kind of smelly. And it's called Inflatable Sex Furniture Magic Sexy Cushion for BDSM Sofa Love Position and Adult Game Set. Adult Game Set? That's a lot. That is kind of weird. It's a sex pillow. What makes it a sex pillow? We'll blow it up and I'll show you. Oh God. 12 seconds later. Where does this come with a pump? The reviews for this show other items too. And I'm very confused by that. Let me blow it up a little bit for you, Daddy, while you tell everyone today about uh, our very comfortable 
and much better cushion sponsor. Yes, Helix Mattress, which I actually prefer because it just blows itself up. <laughs> why, why are we using our mouths like suckers? <laughs> actually, not like suckers, like blowers. <laughs> much like the toys you find on these different sites, everybody's a little bit different. Um, but the quality of Helix is always the same. And they know that because they have a Helix Sleep Quiz. For you, yourself, or you and a partner. Where you can put your height, your weight, and your preference of cushion as well as if you have aches and pains from trying to blow up an inflatable sex pillow for five minutes. Which is especially important as I get older and I saw some of your guys' comments from last week's video saying, where's the young gay? All I see are old gays. And that's shady as all heck. Lucky for you, that shade is perfect for the Helix Sleep Mattress I end up going with, the Dusk Lux. Perfect for those of us who like back sleeping and a medium firmness. And now two and a half years later since getting my Dusk Lux, I have never slept better. And something especially important to mention right now is that unlike other brands, Helix does not include fiberglass in their mattresses, which apparently a lot of mattress brands do. Further, they ship right to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box, which is daddy's favorite part to undo. And much like your inflatable sex pillow, what happens when you unpackage your you're a cushion daddy. <laughs> it goes Poosh. Which I bet you wish this did. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> and if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a hundred night sleep trial, so you get more than three months to make sure you love it. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away. And even better, the Labor Day sale happening right now for a limited time until September 10th at helixsleep.com where you can get 25% off of your purchase for a limited time. Plus two free pills on us. Go to helixsleep.com slash watt and you too can get a special limited time savings. So thank you again to today's sponsor, Helix Sleep, for making this video possible, because there's no way this is advertised when we're talking about sex pillows. <laughs> <sighs> I think you're supposed to put a phallic object in that. That or a really small cup. Maybe I can just put like a little cup holder. <laughs> Shot glass. <laughs> just put my... Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> shots, 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 shots. Here, wait, let me see. I just want to, I'm just curious. Let's test out the Helix Sleep mattress. Wow, we also test out the, the sex cushion. There. Oh. That's what that's designed okay. for. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's holding together okay, though. Yeah, I mean, it's an inflatable balloon. You can't, you can't <laughs> that up. I'm trying to <laughs> it up. I know, I, I see that. And it's perfect for a pillow bite. Really? Oh wait, there's a hole in the bottom too. Yeah. It's got a bonus hole. It goes all the way through. Does it? Yeah. We can use all our objects together. Ah! After 10,000 years, I'm free! To form Ultra Mega Sex so Toy. So if you're tied to the spreader bar, <laughs> now you have a place to sleep. Aww. Aww. It's just comfortable. Though I'm not sure how... Uh, you'd have to have the right toy. Got it. Um, I have one like a double-ended sort of toy yeah. that we can't show because yeah, no, I can't mm -hmm. show you. I have the right toy. Oh, but we can oh, try I'm... this later. Okay. Yay! I mean, yeah, how much? This one was only five ninety-three. Ooh, that's actually more expensive than I expected. That is, me too. And um, while it has like that velvety feel of fabric, the 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 places that it has the seams are kind of scratchy. yeah, they are that, scratchy that, actually right there. That would get and that you. would be annoying if you're naked. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a meh for that reason. Okay, I'll give it a meh. It's well. not the worst, but I also don't feel like after a few uses this would hold up. Violence is never the answer. I'm testing it. We are resorting to violence. Nice. The next item, and everything's already un unpackaged, so I, I, we're not really hiding much, but. Didn't we get these from Wish? We did. Now, these are called. The Excite Your Partner with the BDSM Breast Pump Nipple Massage Set, perfect for couple sex toy. And I really appreciate that they sell it, not as the item name, but as a, a proper, like, Excite Your Partner with this item. I mean, uh, we've had these before. Yeah. It, it's hard to f*** this up. And it's incredibly cheaply made, or sorry, affordable. It's only $159 for one of these. And I think we purchased the medium. Um, and again, I thought I was purchasing a set, 
It didn't make it very clear, but I think I just purchased one of them. So if you're gonna be getting any of these, oh, and I, oh. With suction toys especially, you wanna have a little bit of moisture if you can, and the less hair, the better. So if you have a hairy nipple. What'd you call me? You heard me. Look, you have a muscle. Look. Ow, it kind of hurts though. <laughs> See how good it is? <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Ouch. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. No, I know. But <laughs> Does it tell you that it only comes in one? It says massage set, but it only came with one. So you did two. No, I don't, I, I bought a, it said set. Well, my it's, right, it was a set. My right nipple's gonna be very sad. You'll just have to take turns. And as far as these go, yay, nay. I mean, if the, you're in the market for this, $1.59, come on, you, you'd you spend $10 for a pair of these here in the States. Yeah, and it looks like the mechanisms work well. They, <laughs> they pretty much match the same ones that we bought on Wish Forever Go. The only thing I'm gonna say that might've been a nay for me is it says it was a set. <laughs> I only got one. Yeah, but come on. But for two dollars, yeah. you kind of have for to. four dollars for a full set. It's not that bad. I don't like it when they're so big that they pump the, more than the areola. <laughs> Thank you for getting that off your chest. You're welcome. Next item. <laughs> the next item is a harness. Oh no! And this one is called the Sexy Pu Leather Men's Chest Harness. Perfect for bondage, BDSM, and role play. PU? Is it a smell? It's polyurethane. We learned oh. that from the Wish episode where everything was PU, and people were like, Ooh, PU. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> smell it. Uh, it's, it smells like gasoline. So it's like basically a bulldog harness. Right? Yeah, it's really thin. I will say, it feels a little bit better than the Wish harness we mm -hmm. bought. With the harness, generally D rings go down and buckles go in front. I, I don't dislike the, the style of it for the affordable cost of how much do you think this was? $12? Wow, $12.57 actually. Wow, yeah. But the real test, how does it fit? What size is this? Um, that's the fun part. It's a one size fits most. There's there's no sizing on this guy. It's that's just... a lie. These buckles are really cheap. It's not the worst. I mean, visually, it's not bad. Visually, it looks like a number of harnesses I've seen. It's got definition to it. With a lot of the Wish or cheaply made harnesses, usually they feel and look really thin, mm -hmm. and the, the straps and the buckles kind of fall flat. This feels pretty thick, and if I pull on it... Really? <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> it, it works, though. The only gripe I have is that sizing's gonna be weird for mm -hmm. some people. Like, on Daddy, he's got a big chest. If you're a smaller, more thin person, it's gonna fit really oddly, I think. It looks nice from the back. Daddy keeps a little twirl. Mm-hmm, no, keep twirling. <laughs> I'd actually give this a yay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. Yeah, not bad, 12 bucks. Next item. And this next one is, doggone it, I'm already kind of upset. And it is called the One Piece Sexy Dog Head Cover Puppy Hood, perfect for flirting and role-playing cosplay costumes, exotic face masks for men. Okay, I already don't like that the cut on the neoprene shows the whiteness of the insides. So what it's made of is neoprene, which is like a stretchy, almost swimsuity material. Oh my God, and on the inside? Oh no. This is what's hitting your head. Oh. So that is gonna be so uncomfortable. That's the ears poking into your head. Most puppy hoods have a, a smooth side and a, a flat side or a fabric side. So they put the fabric side, which is supposed to go against the head because it's more comfortable, on the outside. Yeah. And they put the smooth side, which is gonna make you super sweaty, on the inside. This is really cheaply made. This is even worse than the Wish and the Amazon versions a of these bit, that we reviewed. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you think this runs for, Daddy? Uh, I'm gonna say $12.75 again. Nope, $10.97. It looks it. Oh, How's it smell? It smells terrible. Your makeup is terrible. Oh, oh. Let me see. <sighs> also, the way the hole. I'm very sad. <laughs> I hate it. Um, this dog does not want that bone. Okay, so what, we both say no. Okay. Next item. <laughs> Though, speaking of bones, this next one. Is this a gag? Oh, this one's sticky. 
This one is marketed in multiple colors as the sexy dog bone silicone mothball gag. What is a mothball? Why ball? mothball? I don't know. For this, the stitching sucks. Like you can see the end of the threads right here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is great, yeah, much better. It's not the worst, but also, yeah, the, the buckles are kind of flimsy and the bone, it's just a piece of silicone. I would wash that before I put it in my mouth, but you were really brave there, daddy. Ow. And it retails for uh, $17, but we bought it for how much? Oh, uh, five. Six ninety-seven. Oh. So, it's not the worst? I wouldn't use it on a sub. Why? Well, it tastes gross. I can't get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, this one's sticky. B, it's silicone shipped from China. And C, it's, yeah, blah. Yay or nay? I mean, uh, can I go meh? It's six dollars. It's six dollars. Um, it's a meh. It's a meh. It's not the worst thing ever. No. But it's not great. I will say though, as much as Timu still has some quality problems, all of their pictures match the item. With Wish and Amazon, I, we would find pictures of us in some of the imagery because right. it was from Mr. S's catalogs of images. Like they were stealing images and trying to sell it as their own. I mean, this looks exactly like what was on the site. It does. I mean. And I'm still not very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> this next item. Sure to have you on a roll. Is it duct tape? Not quite, but I'll, I'll see if you know what it is once you've opened it. Uh, it's PVC tape. Exactly. This is called Excite Your Sex Life with Fetish SM Adult Toy Bondage Tape Electrostatic Static Tape. You know how electrostatic like kind of works to cling to itself and essentially like being wrap. Um, the tape sticks to itself, but not to my skin. Actually, I love this stuff. <laughs> it tears really easy. Yeah, and it's pretty strong. You could continue to layer that on. I'm actually kind of Yay? It's really good for mummification. It's really good for gagging. It's very good for... Give me. Give me. Oh. Mm. Keeping it away. Mm. <laughs> okay, mm. I'm gonna tie you No. <laughs> for three bucks? Yeah, there's not much there. So three bucks, I would need to mummify you. I would need seven <laughs> rolls of this. <laughs> Okay. So wow. seven times three, so I need $21 worth, which is about the same amount that a regular roll would be. So I don't know if there's a cost savings or not. I'm free. I'm free. Ah. Regardless of the kind of bondage, if it's rope, if it's flimsy cuffs, or if it's ele electrostatic tape, always have some safety shears. And safety shears have a blunt edge, so you can't cut someone as you're cutting them out. Agree. But well, let's see what you think of this next item. Oh I'm no, no. I already hate it. Yeah. And this one is called One Piece PU Leather Black Red Whip, the perfect couple flirting BDSM sex accessory for adults' sexual pleasure. Okay, so I think they do themselves a disservice by calling it PU leather. I think they need something else than PU. <laughs> so what's happened in a lot of companies is they call it vegan leather. Yes, I Which noticed this trend. I kind of dislike even more, at least with PU, you it, know it's gonna stink because- it, it sounds like blatant pandering. It does, and there's nothing wrong with being vegan either. You will find if you've ever used an actual flogger or a whip that is leather versus this stuff that daddy can't open. <laughs> I will say that you get what you pay for. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little stinginess to it. Um, more of a sting than a thud because it's all like rubber. But, okay, so someone did hand weave this. Like it's not just shoddily, like Wish stuff sometimes just ha had weird handles that weren't woven properly right. together. And this has a decent weight to it. That would make a nice horsetail. I mean, ponytail. Look, I'm Ariana Grande. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Just, just doing some BDSM here. Ah, I want to hate it, but I don't. If you know what you're getting and you know that it's a PU leather, it's, it's decently crafted. This is a leather one that's similar. It's not woven like that. 
but this isn't real leather either. Yeah. One's shinier than the other, and this one has a nice rubberized like grip to it, as well as some nice bolts to know that it's gonna stay in there. Yeah, that this this feels kind of looks meh. flimsy to me, um, but, but I bet room. it causes a good sensation. Yeah, in um, a dark room, it's gonna look the same. How much? How much was this? Would you say? Uh, over a hundred. And this, how much do you think this was? Probably five. This one was seven dollars and ninety-seven cents. Yeah, and it looks it. <laughs> it does, but I'm not gonna to kink shame anyone that has affordable gear if it works for them and they like it. Yeah. I will, however, question where you got it from and how it's supporting a better marketplace, because as we know, these places will market and make things at a very discounted price that is very affordable, aka cheap but also not paying their workers well. Mm. And so when you buy these items, we're testing it out. We're seeing how the quality is. We're seeing that it is very hit or miss with Timu. We do at least know that the product matches the picture. And it's a bit more honest in that way, but I'm still very suspicious of the prices. So yay or nay on that one? It's a meh. It's a meh. Meh. Yeah. Meh. This next item, ironically, also says Item is all sold out, <laughs> and I'm so confused why we got it then. Maybe it sold out after they shipped. No, because if I click on that, it says, we'll let you know when it's back in stock and we will refill your order. So I don't know if we're supposed to get this, but this is our next item. So are they gonna ship you more when it comes back in stock? I sure hope not. <laughs> this is called the One Piece Wooden Handle Hand Whip Adjustable Flogger. I wouldn't call it a flogger. I wouldn't call it adjustable either. This is like a slapper. Of it. Is that real leather though? No, that's that's car vinyl. Yeah, it's vinyl that's been glued together. Yeah. And the way that they packaged it, as you can see, has now dented it indefinitely. It doesn't have a big sting to it, which is actually good for beginners. And it makes a decent sound. As, a, as an expert, you're about to slap me in the face. The handle's nicely machined. It's got polish. These little rivets in here feel secure. Though they're kind of yeah, jiggly. Yeah, what does that sound? May I call you jiggly? It's because it's not riveted all the oh, way. Oh, they're not tight. Yeah. They're loosey goosey. And again, we're being aggressive with our items because we want to test to make sure they'll withstand actual play. Uh huh. But if they last from daddy touching it for a few seconds, it might be <laughs> at least somewhat good. So, how much was that? How much do you think? Uh, again, I'm gonna stay at the $5 range. <laughs> this one was $8.47. Oh, that's a lot more than I would pay, actually. It has yeah. a nice look to it though, too. It does. And it's and decent. It feels a bit more expensive than say the other two floggers because it's got like a nice wood handle. And if this is if there's lube on this, wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pass. I'm gonna agree I'm with gonna you. Pass. pass. That one I didn't love. Yeah. And that was our last item. All of that together, Daddy, how much do you think that was retailed at? Uh five plus five. Plus five, plus five, plus five, uh, $35. <laughs> no, I wish. You don't wish, you Timu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was retailed at $176.18. But we only spent, because we had $85 discount, $90.61 with free shipping. That's kind of ridiculous. Although we got a couple decent play, yeah, 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 yeah I, 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 no. For a beginner looking to get some inexpensive or cheap items, it's not that bad of a price. Overall, there's one or two items that I was like, oh, that's fun, but it was all very meh. It was all very meh. Meh. <laughs> meh. Well, but you know, we, we're used to buying higher quality gear too, so it could just be us being jaded. And it's also the fact that we we have access to, we, we live in a city that has sex shops with actual leather crafters, but we also know when we see something online that it's not gonna be great mm. and it's not gonna fit right. And while Timu is not perfect by any means, there's certainly a lot of news out there saying that they're more ethical than some other fast fashion, which is this term that we use to talk about like companies like Wish or even Shein that make stuff so quickly that it doesn't match what you're buying. It doesn't mm. match how it looks and they're forcing labor. Now there's many instances where people are saying, oh no, it's ethical. It's an ethical marketplace where they're allowing people to put up their items and they bid. So I want y'all to do your own research there because I have both, you know, more ethical than some companies that do fast fashion, but I also have very first hand cases where people are getting packages that are 
kind of problematic. These people that are making these items overseas are not getting paid well. No, I get that. That's why it is so cheap. <laughs> Affordable. Cheap. But Timu was also in the news for being accused of actually stealing consumer data and utilizing that information to monitor users' activity across many vendors and other spaces, so... I assume Amazon does the same. <laughs> I mean, at this point, anything I shop or do online, I figure is being used against me somewhere, or some other way. <laughs> yeah, so just be smart about how you buy and you shop, but make sure that you're, you're actually consuming ethically and giving back to the community. So overall, I think our, our, our rating is just kind of a solid meh. Meh. I give it a solid five out of 10. But we don't feel like we were robbed either. No, and some items sucked in the best possible way. Yay! I have muscles. But whether your toys suck or not, and you're consuming, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is... Jimu. And if you enjoy these unboxing hauls, tell us where to go next. Uh, if you like ringing bells, ring that bell down below. And don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time on What's a Safe Word. Bye! Bye. I don't know if you have an idea, or a cyst, or, or what, but... It's a thought bubble. Here, why don't you let some, let some air out, just blow out. Oh. Well done. Oh god, why does it smell, it smells terrible. <laughs> it smells like a balloon farted Whoa. in here.